Hi, this is Sebastian KB0TTL. Today we'll be going over the differences in terminology between DMR terms and analog terms on your NHone 868, 878, and 578 radio. For the majority of this, we're going to be going over to the computer as I'm going to be showing you the various screens for programming and going over the terminology. I was just going to go over the differences between the lingo dealing with analog channels and digital channels as far as amateur radio terms are concerned. Um, so first of all, I'm going to look at an analog channel, which I'm sure most of you have already seen on other uh, simpler radios back from a simpler day. Um, we have the transmit and receive pair. Um, so this is a repeater out in Independence, Missouri on a receive frequency of 147.090, transmit frequency of 147.690. This is a duplex frequency, of course, frequency pair versus a simplex frequency pair. Uh, we're going to have this set for analog. We want the highest power available. And then we have a bandwidth of 25 uh, kilohertz. Um, this repeater does not use CTCSS. However, if it did, we could select a CTCSS setting from here as well. CTCSS or subaudible tone, uh, which is an added security feature for a lot of repeaters, just basically keeping people that aren't necessarily familiar with ham radio operation from perchunking or interfering with the repeater. So unless a subaudible tone or CTCSS uh, tone on your radio matches the one they have on their repeater, you won't be able to access it. So it's a little bit of an extra security precaution. Um, so, of course, when you go to transmit on frequency 147.690, uh, it'll activate the repeater and everybody will be able to hear what you're saying on 147.090. Again, this is analog. This is not with a digital signal. Now looking over to one of the digital channels, the lingo changes here slightly. Um, notice how all of these frequencies here are simplex. So basically this is set up for a hotspot. You can use a duplex frequency on a digital repeater or a simplex frequency on a digital hotspot. Um, so here's the slight difference though. We're going to have this set for digital. The bandwidth is actually narrowband on a DMR or digital repeater. We're going to use something called a color code instead of a CTCSS. Color code is something that the sysop on each repeater can set. And it's uh, basically CTCSS except for digital, meaning unless the color code that you're transmitting on matches the color code of the digital repeater, you're not going to be able to gain access. So we're looking at color code selectable from code 1, or actually 0 rather, 0 through 15, color code. There's also a time slot. Um, on each digital repeater, you're capable of having two conversations taking place on that same repeater at one time. One on time slot one and one on time slot two as digital streams are concerned. Keep in mind, most repeaters have designated one of the time slots for normal repeater traffic and the other time slot for talk groups for DMR talk group access. And it's best not to get those two confused. Um, as the sysop of a repeater can actually have your DMR ID number banned from a repeater if you're using the wrong time slot. So make sure that if you're supposed to be talking um, net, net groups and things of that nature only on time slot 1, that that's all you're using time slot 1 for. Uh, vice versa if it's time slot 2. But the other time slot is typically open on said repeaters um, for use for digital communications on the talk groups. Um, so there you have some of the differences here between analog and digital. Also, you're going to need to select your talk group. Um, you'll most likely upload a talk group list, a talk group list from uh, Brandmeister. And these are all the talk groups that we currently have available uh, loaded into this radio. So you're going to select which talk group that you want to talk on. You're going to select a talk group for each channel on digital. So say you're talking on a digital repeater, you're programming a digital repeater into your radio. You're actually going to put a separate channel in. Even though the frequency pair is the same, you're going to put a different talk group in for each channel, that is for each talk group that you want to use while you're on that repeater. 
unlike the analog repeater where you just plug your frequency pair in one time and you're good to go. When chalk groups are involved, you're going to do a different channel for each chalk group on the same frequency pair. So these are the differences between programming, analog, and digital channels, and some of the lingo uh, that you'll hear um, being used on the DMR repeaters, and if you have a hotspot, on your hotspot as well. Which color code are you on? Um, which chalk group are you on? And also, which time slot are you on? And there we have it. Again, my name is Sebastian KB0TTL. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel at 73.